I can't name You got second. Oh, <sighs> All right, got that out of my system. Who's the champ? Who's the champ? Who's the champ? <laughs> hey, good game, Jordy. Thanks for playing in the league. I hope you continue to play, but you can't mess with this. You can't handle this. He's being too cocky. <laughs> No, I have to give all credit to Todd Gurley and Le'Veon Bell. <sighs> yes, and the trade I made with Joey to get Gronkowski. Got rid of Christian McCaffrey, which might have screwed me this week. And I got Gronkowski. So Gronkowski, for the last four weeks, I think I've had him. Nails. Didn't have him for one week, but it didn't matter because I had a bye week. Um, so thank you, Gronkowski, Le'Veon Bell, and... You, Todd Gurley. I think Todd Gurley won about at least 80% of fantasy football leagues out there. He was, he was probably the reason why they won. I'm doing this video in the uh, beginning of the second half of the Eagles game. Because I just don't think it's going to matter to many games. I think outcomes are going to be made. And we already know what they are. One of them's mine. Yes. I like to say, Jordy, you put up a good fight. One, you did. 161 points is respectable points. Totally respectable points, especially for a team that, well, let's face it, I thought sucked in the beginning. But you did make moves. Picked up Kareem Hunt. I think I thought I hated your team because of Odell Beckham. And what, hey, Odell Beckham got hurt. You had no bench, so you had to make moves. And you picked up <clears throat> Kareem Hunt and got rid of Des Bryant. I mean... I would say that move definitely benefited you. I don't remember when you got rid of, when you got Kareem Hunt. But for the last three weeks, Kareem Hunt has been a beast. Deion Lewis, huge man. I don't know if you picked him up either or if you had him because he didn't really, but he was a pretty solid, solid dude for most of the year. Your Achilles heel, I would have to say, was Russell Wilson. Awesome. For most of the year, and then kind of struggled the last two weeks. Um, the rest of your team, I mean, it was that's a solid team. Evan Ingram getting hurt, obviously. I bet I'm not saying that's gonna make you lose because I still got a whole second half to get some more Nick Foles points, so it probably wouldn't have mattered. Um, I do know that Kirk Cousins, if I would have kept him and started him, he would have got me 38 points. So I was kicking myself a lot today for doing that, but it didn't matter, luckily. Uh, yeah, so my team, I would have to say, one of my best teams I've ever drafted. With Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, picking up Kenyon Drake, having Christian McCaffrey. Doug Martin did okay for a week or two, and that was it. But having Robert Woods, Stefan Diggs, Chris Hogan for a little bit, he was good. Robert Woods, stud pickup, I have to admit, even though he had a horrible championship week. Uh, and then my kicker, Goskowski, was solid all year. And I'd have to say, um, getting the my defense oh, merry-go-round, my wow. typical defensive wow. merry-go-round was awesome. That's a look. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we'll go to the third place game here. Dirty Engines is going to hold on, and did hold on, and did take over, thanks to Zach Ertz's 13 points he's already gotten in the first half. Has taken the lead and claimed third place over to Legit to Coquit. That's right. I have to give props. Two new guys in the league, both in the top four. So it's good to have new guys that know what they're doing as long as they don't beat me, right? That's right. You can beat anyone else. You put up a good fight, Mr. Uh, Mr. Co Mr. Uh, Coddle, but uh, just not good enough. Uh, I can't wait to see if you're going to do two stud tight ends and no running backs again ever, like ever again. Ever again. I don't know if you'll ever do that again. I would like to see you take a tight end in the first round again. That would be nice. I would love to see that. Because I just don't ever do that. So, Dirty Engines for third place with having a goose egg so far from Crabtree. Five whole points from Des Bryant. Nine points from Theo Riddick. And you somehow are going to win. You got 121 points. With who, uh, Zach Ertz to play and Michael Crabtree with a goose egg. So, good game.
Uh, anyone else score big? No, no other big scores this weekend in the other team. Uh, just looking back at history, just to show you some dominance here. The Dirty Engines last year won the league. And guess who got second place? Oh, that was me. I know. Second place sucks. So I had to redeem myself and win this year while the Dirty Engines got fourth. Or not fourth, third. So he got third this year. Dirty Engines third and me won. Last year was Dirty Engines one, me two. Then, three years ago, 2014, Dirty Engines again wins the league. How about that? Then, the year before that, I won the league. I know. And then the year before that, I got second place. There's another guy in this league who's a very dominant guy, Pocket Rockets. Yeah, he had a, a rough year again. But Pocket Rockets is another team that always dominates. So watch out for him, guys. He'll be back, unless he is quitting. So, uh, but I don't think so. I don't know. King of the Mountain is me. 215, 16 points. So that's right. King of the Mountain, two times in this league. Love it. Love it, King of the Mountain. And then the Pick'em's winner is who? Unlucky Johnson. Brent, you did it. You finally won something again. I think you might have won a Pick'em's last year. I'm not sure. But can you guys shut up? You see me doing a video here, Losers? Yeah. I freaking moron. Shut up. Hey. Unlucky. Wins the Pickums by one point over Wynum Dynam. Kid, it won't work. Getting 12 right and Wynum Dynam only 10. Man, Wynum Dynam. I just think you're having some bad luck. You know why? I forgot to go over the uh, toilet bowl winner. But the oh, toilet yeah, bowl winner you is. You have to tell go me. upstairs! Any more talking, I will smack the crap out of you. Travis Weirs. You are losing by six points. What does it have an exclamation mark for? I have no idea. There's still a whole half to go, and you got Derek Carr. And Alshon Jeffries, who has a goose egg. But I'm going to say, Travis Weirs, you are going to come from behind to beat Wyndham Dynam. I'm going to literally stand up here and hurt you in a second. Don't have any kids. Don't do it. Dad. Don't ever have kids. All right, got that out. That was my public service announcement. So, Travis, I'm going to say congratulations, and I'm not jinxing you because you're only down by literally six points. And I don't see that you are, are not going to come back and win. He has Jared Cook, and I'm just saying you're going to win. Okay. If I jinxed you and when I'm dying, I'm somehow came from behind to win because you're not going to see this video until after the game is over anyway. Sorry, but I think you're going to win still. So what I was going to say is when I'm dying, you had yourself a rough year. It was ups and downs, a lot more ups and downs than anything. A lot more downs, I mean, than anything. So... <clears throat> Another good year in the books, for me at least. I mean, not for all of you. Oh, okay. I said shut up. All right. Where was I? Chiefs. That's right. Great game. Clinch the division. Going to the playoffs. Can't wait. I'm not having my hopes up for a Super Bowl. I would like to see a win. I would like to see an AFC Conference Championship game. I'm not saying we're going to win that because obviously that means we're going to the Super Bowl. But to go to the AFC Championship game would be awesome. And I know it's baby steps, right? Because then after this year, Patrick Mahomes is going to hopefully be our man. We will have some down years. Mahomes is not going to do what Deshaun Watson did and light it up. Okay, I He's going to throw interceptions. I get that. But he's going to be so fun to watch, I think. Can't wait. I think Team Will eventually, he'll be good. We are going to be a stud team. We're going to have like a Brett Favre on our team for a long time. Calling it now. But I can't wait for the playoffs. Um, I think that's all I got for you. I, can't, I, I might do a video like, oh yeah, don't forget to join our NFL playoff league in our other link that I emailed and all that crap to you guys. Starting after next week, you should be able to pick line, make your lineups. But don't forget, you have to submit your lineup afterwards. 
after you pick your lineup and make it, you have to re you have to submit your lineup. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'll probably do another video of some studs and duds. I mean, obviously the main duds are the guys that got hurt really early, like Odell Beckham and Aaron Rodgers and Ezekiel Elliott's irritation of being suspended or not suspended. Even though he had a great year, he screwed a lot of teams out of the championship because of his suspension. Just saying. Just saying. Julio Jones, huge dud. I wanna, I'll get to that later, though. You've heard enough about me. My voice does get old. Ask my kids. They can't stand my voice. I can't stand my kids' voice. You know? Boarding school is a very good thing. And I mean boarding school like they stay there. Boarding school. Yeah. I just don't have the money for that. Maybe jail. Will they take jail? Jail's a free thing, right? I have a good week.